Showering is hard. Who's with me? So here is a problem. One, I like to be clean. I like to be as clean as possible. And two, showers are not very pleasant for me. How do I rectify these things? Um, I hear that this is not uncommon with autistic people, that showering is hard. Um, distracted again because this random pseudo nightfall that just happened, this random shadow suddenly overtook this video. Back to showering. Showering is hard for many reasons. One, water splashes everywhere. It splashes all over your face. And depending on the shower head, it can be very miserable. It can be the worst thing. Um, some shower heads have the perfect angle. And I can only do fixed shower heads, by the way. I know in like, uh, in parts of Europe, they do, and Greece for sure, they do. The nozzle that comes off and you have to hold it yourself, that freaks me, the, that freaks me out. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not sure if, I'm still not sure if I'm supposed to curse on YouTube videos or not. So normally I would curse, but um, sh water, the worst is when the angle of the shower nozzle, when the different, you know how like there's, a, I don't know, 50, I don't actually know, 200 something, I'm not good at judging numbers, little spouts of individual water coming out. And sometimes they're like in a good bunch facing kind of the right the same way and sometimes you have a random one that's like boop, boop. and then you have oh my gosh when the stream hits your face like that it's so bad it's it's really bad it's really bad when water is coming in unexpected places when it's going in your eyes and when you're expecting it to like mostly come here or here and then there's like one here i that's the word it's so bad it's bad okay you get the point Sorry for that noise. You get the point. Another reason showers are hard. One is I, I'm very weird about germs and touching certain things. So here's my, like, here's the shower routine I had in college. And now it's not quite as bad, but it's still, it's still pretty extreme. Okay. Wash my hands before getting in the shower. First of all, always shower sandals if I'm in remotely a public place. So wrap my towel around me. Um, go to the shower room, most bathroom, put on the wrap. If the towel touches the floor in any way, it's done. It's done. If it touches something dirty, it's done. If a fly lands on it and it's damp, done. Wash my hands and oh no, turn the, sh turn the shower on so that it can warm up and also so I don't have to touch that very much again wash my hands and then when the shower is ready put soap on my hands but without washing it all the way and then enter the shower close the door or whatever by the way if any part of my body touches um, any part of the shower I'm done or not done but like it, it makes me very upset I have to wash that off like if I nudge the wall of the shower or something so or the, um, if it's a curtain, like, ugh. if I touch the curtain, ugh. I'm not explaining this very smoothly, sorry. So I still have this soap in my hand. And then once I'm in the shower, I use the shower water to wash my hands again so that I don't have to touch anything else again, except for like maybe my shampoo or whatever. I only wash my hair once a week though. So then I'm finally have clean enough hands to wash my face. My showers are usually three minutes. Like they're very short because I don't like them that much. And sometimes I'll even count like one, one banana, two banana, three banana, four banana. I'll try to like, if I get past, once it gets to a hundred, I'm like, all right, we're going to need, we're going to need to get the show on the road so I can move on with my day. And because why stay in the shower that long? Waste water. It's not that enjoyable and blah, 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 whatever. People ask me, why do you wash your hands twice? It's because you have to touch other things. 
Okay, so I wash my hair once a week because not only it's because of my hair color, but also because um okay when I was a kid I almost I did not want to shower at all like it was like pulling teeth to get me in the shower and I always did at night night showers are much harder for me like it I just didn't want the water everywhere and then the drying process is like miserable to me because all that environmental shock factor of like you're you're warm but you're cold but you're wet and there's like things hitting you and the air feels funny and um like you're kind of soggy in place like drying is not fun I don't like thinking about drying myself off. I also haven't gone swimming or gone in a pool in like years for that reason among many. So when I was a kid, I was just, that was gross. I did not shower um, very much. As an adult, I actually do shower every day. And that is only because I go to the gym in the morning. And the reason, one of the reasons I go to the gym, even if I barely have a workout, is because that's the only thing that will push me towards showering. Because then you get sweaty. Actually, I don't really get that sweaty because I do such light, barely even there, activity. But going to the gym kind of makes me feel like, okay, now there's definitely a good reason to shower. And put it this way, if I don't shower in the morning, I get upset and don't feel ready and feel just the worst. So I have to be clean, but I don't like to shower. I don't know if that makes sense. Does that make sense? The temperatures are sometimes unpredictable. That's a thing. The pressure, unpredictable. That's a thing, especially like when traveling. Um, and also when traveling <laughs> to hotels, bar soap. This is how I feel about bar soap. I can't take it. I can't take it. Sorry, this video is already getting long. I kind of noticed that a lot of autistic people on YouTube, their videos kind of ramble on, and that's not saying that we all have that in common, but maybe it's something. Oh, and why don't I do baths? Do I do baths? No, of course I don't do baths. Baths to me are like bathing in my own filth. Um, I don't judge anyone else who likes baths, but just personally, this is my like thing that I can't do baths I haven't been able to do baths since I was a child and couldn't really consent to doing baths so sorry I need to do an important segue there I I wasn't forced into baths as a child I didn't want to make it sound like I was plopped into baths and I was trying to get out as a kid I enjoyed a vino baths whether or not I needed them or not I enjoyed before I probably learned about germs and stuff I don't know I liked to be no baths as a kid. Grew out of it super fast. So anyway, bath bombs and bubble baths and soaking in baths and relaxing in bathtubs is like a concept that makes no sense to me. Whenever I have a bathtub in, in an apartment, goes completely unused, just cobwebs, just dirt, dust inside. Baths are very scary to me. And yes, even if I shower before I bath, before I take a bath, I just cannot do it at all. Do you get the point? I can't do it. So that's in a nutshell why showers are hard. I still shower every day, but especially if I'm depressed or um, having trouble with my day or like running out of spoons already, uh, showering can be a big pain in the ass. And I might forget simple things like putting conditioner in my hair that's another reason showers are hard steps all these things that are involved um there's can shampoo and conditioner and soap but like also cleaning your face which is like only something i learned to do as an adult and then some people also do like loofahs or exfoliation which is like wait it's like too that's too deep for me that's too much 
Um, and I'm grateful that I don't have any like current skin conditions or something that makes me have to be super particular about what I do. So I, I know that I'm lucky in that sense. Baths are hard. Baths, baths are Showers are hard. I'm going to cut this off now. Let me know if you have any comments. If you have ba bath and shower experiences to share. If you're autistic, please mention that. I'm curious if other people have this problem too. Where showering's hard even though you're a full-grown adult. Hashtag executive functioning, my friends. I'm obviously filming this portion on a different day because I forgot to mention in the last video that <clears throat> there have been several times where I have not been able to shower in my own house because I had too many sensory issues in the place where I was living. So this has happened to me in three living situations, um, two, at least three. It might actually be more, but um, in those cases, that's also another reason why being part of a gym was so important for me, like a gym with showers. Especially when I was briefly living in New York, um, I couldn't I couldn't use the shower at my apartment at all, like at all. I tried like once, and it just made me have the biggest anxiety attack. Like I just couldn't couldn't do it all. So even on days that I didn't work out, I would I had a gym membership basically mostly so I could use the shower, so I could use a nice clean shower, and like have all the products there and you know I'd wear shower sandals and there would always be a fresh towel did I mention that fresh towels are so nice um and it was it, I don't know I just liked the experience much better I'm very comfortable showering in a lot of gyms I don't know why more so than like if it's a crappy apartment shower then I can't do it. I can't rough it. And I really, really wish I could. But I can't. I, like, have breakdowns. Um, another time was when I was in France for a chamber music festival. Um, <laughs> I was staying in this beautiful chateau. Um, and I, I wonder if any of my colleagues are watching this. But it was gorgeous. Like, everyone was... It was just so... It was like a retreat-type situation. We just rehearsed all day. Got to stay in this, like, mansion, basically in France and it was like too rustic for what I could handle and I would just sit in my own filth. I was so filthy from like being outside in the dirt and hiking and everything but the bug situation in the shower and the fact that I didn't have enough clean towels and that when it dried like um, things might stick to it and I just didn't have, I just, the situation specifics just weren't Basically, I would just cry in bed, filthy, like absolutely filthy, and wishing I could take a shower, and so dirty, but not being able to muster um, going to the shower. Okay, on a final, final note, I am lucky that like I have been able to take showers nowadays. I currently live in a place where I can use the shower, um, in the last place I lived, I could also sometimes use the shower, but I actually still did the gym, like, just as of a year ago or so, um, because one of the things, one of the nozzle, one of the shower, some of them, and it had this thing that I explained earlier, a little of this, um, and, I don't know, I just feel really lucky right now in my life at this moment that currently I can take showers better than I used to. I also want to say, and this is very important, that this is just one ex one person's experience. A lot of people have it much worse, so I hope this didn't come off as like, poor me. I'm just trying to shed light on like some of the reasons why showers might be hard for autistic people. Um, people of all like different places on the spectrum have different versions of everything, so I would never speak for everyone. Also, a lot of disa people who are disabled in other ways have issues with the shower. I've learned a lot from like friends and everything and so you know the differences might be the pain points for them might be completely different anyway that's all I have